I just started crying because it's been a really stressful few days. And I just want to go back to a home where our family is. Let's go hug you. You okay? Yeah. Is it total? Yeah, we can't drive. Okay, so I was secretly worried that we didn't get the full coverage for our insurance because they were saying like for the price and the year of this vehicle that like we maybe should get liability only, in which case I'm not sure if it would be covered if we got, um, if we hit a deer because I don't know if that's considered at fault or not but we do have full coverage, so. Ooh, you scared me there, why would you say Because <laughs> I wanted to get your reaction for the video. <laughs> Good. And I mean, most importantly, okay, so we were going 55 and we hit a deer like full on and the dogs are safe and we are safe and yeah, it amazing. didn't go through the windshield. It did, the windshield did crack a bit, but like that could have went a lot worse. Yeah, because as I saw it, I was just like, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was thinking about Instagramming our insurance agent because he's so good, so he can tell Christmas us what to do. Okay. But we have service, so we're fine. We'll figure it out. So we literally just said we were at 249,000 kilometers, and we were going to, like, celebrate when we got to 250. And then today, I was talking to Tyson about how I want to get it up to 300. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Mexico. Yeah, we're like, we're going to rack so many kilometers up on this baby. Uh, what are we going to do with all our stuff? We have like, our van's pack, packed with everything here. sound in a hotel um, the area that we're visiting is a very touristy area so we were lucky enough to get a room at the probably the fifth place that we called it's the weekend it's Saturday so everywhere is booked up uh, uh, one thing that sucked was we did need to find a pet friendly room um, there were lots of pet friendly hotels but yeah the first floor that we called had no room available the tow truck driver was so nice. He offered for us to stop at his house and use the restroom. He drove us 30 minutes out of the way to this hotel because it was the only one we could get into. Yeah, the next town. He, he offered to drive us to the one town, but then nothing was available, so then he drove us to the next town, which was nice, very nice. Yeah. Uh, while we were waiting for the state trooper and the tow truck to come, uh, there were people that just pulled over on the side just to make sure we were okay. So it was really nice, um, the, just the amount of generosity from people. And then when we got to the hotel, there was people who held the dogs for us so we could clear the van out. Um, and then the person at the front desk was so nice. Everyone was so nice. We couldn't have gotten luckier for what town we got stranded in. But yeah, it's Saturday and the rental car place isn't open until Monday and we're not really getting too much info from our insurance company at the moment. So we don't really know what we're gonna do. We're kind of like stranded right now in the Finger Lakes, which I mean, there could be worse places to be stranded. People disappear in the Finger Lakes. <laughs> So as we were driving out of the Finger Lakes, Tyson um, says that it was a shame that he didn't get to use his drone here. So now you do. Yeah, I can show you all the B-roll tomorrow. Uh, oh God. 
Um, so now we have this really, really like weird task in front of us that there's not really much reading we can do about it because we are in a different country traveling. Uh, we totaled our car. We have uh, uh, everything we need to live with us. So we got to figure out how it all works. Do we do we get the car shipped back? Do we ship our stuff back? Do we rent a one-way U-Haul maybe? That seems like the best option at this point. Uh, Enterprise does one-way rentals, but we got some research to do. So it's not going to be a, as relaxing of a Saturday as we thought. Yeah, if it was just the two of us and we were backpacking or whatever, we'd just hop on a plane, but we've got two dogs to think about um, who have never flown, and we have a lot of things to bring back, so we will keep you updated on uh, what the heck happens. Uh, I'm just happy that we're all okay, and the dogs are okay, and you're okay. Mm -hmm. And I you're okay. <sighs> and well, I don't care about that. Um... And you handled that situation really well. I'm really proud of you for that. So did you. Because you, for someone who panics quite a bit, you sure do you stay focused under pressure. I think that's what, what having anxiety prepares you for. You're always, well, you're always worried about the worst case scenario. So when it is the worst case scenario, you're ready because you are already worrying about it. <laughs> we'll catch you tomorrow. Night. We should brush our teeth. We got a beautiful view. Good morning. Um, Rose has been on the phone all morning trying to figure out what we can do, what we should do, and I think that what we decided to do was to stay another night because it's Sunday and everything's closed. Yeah, we can't really get a hold of the insurance company. The tow truck place is closed today to get our car out of impound it's in the lot anyways so we're just trying to enjoy the day because it's our only option we can't get home and uh, trying to make the best out of the situation but I am definitely really stressed so so far I think what our best option is um, is to get a cab or a pet friendly uber back to the shop where the car, the van was towed to, uh, but they are a nice local company and they might come pick us up too, uh, depending. But I think that what we might do is call AAA from there, have them drop the van off at the border and then have CAA pick it up and then drop us off at our home shop it's just such a, it's just such an inconvenience, you know? Very stressful, but we're going to try and make the best of it. Yeah, the biggest kicker is that we have full insurance coverage, but we don't have the rental car rider. And it just, when I had turned it down, I wasn't thinking. And they basically said, you know, if you're, if you didn't have your vehicle while you had repairs, would you need another one? Uh, and I just thought to myself, oh gosh, no, I have so many families, family and friends in town and my parents always have an extra vehicle kicking around. I could just borrow that. I wasn't thinking about being in a different country and having to get home. Um, and it doesn't seem like they're gonna cover that. So that is the, definitely an unexpected expense we weren't expecting. Yes, we did not account for that in our budget planning. What the heck are you doing? Are you having fun? Shaka bread.
doing great. Work it, girl. Lola says, uh-uh, you're fired. I feel like as adults, if we just played all the time, we wouldn't even need to work out. There goes that climbing, girl. That was my climbing. <laughs> my old lady climbing. <laughs> old lady climbing, girl. <laughs> and she always has her sandy ready to go. So, uh, we are at the lot where our van got towed to. Uh, the towing company will not take us to the border, but thankfully CAA found someone who would. So the plan right now is that we're waiting uh, about an hour for the tow truck to come. Um, and hopefully he'll let us and the dogs ride along with him and they get someone to come to the border to tow us on the other side. It'll be interesting to see how all that works. But we're making it, we're, we're making it home. So far, CA's been really great. And I wish we would've just had the upgraded package sooner. Um, because there's some other things we could've taken advantage of like if Tyson's name was on the account, we might have been able to um, have them cover the hotel fee that we had to pay the past few days. But um, yeah, CAA slash AAA has been really good so far and I wish we would have just called them uh, the night of the accident, but we weren't really given an option. The police officer just, he said that, um, that the driver that was coming was AAA, but he was gonna bypass the AAA dispatching. Yeah, all in all, we felt pretty rushed, um, which is like normal. There's a traffic hazard, uh, and you know they gotta get it cleaned up and get us off the road. But the trooper didn't like. I mean, it's a weird scenario, right? Because we're Canadians, we're trying to get across the border so it's not really something that happens too often uh, he was a local guy and he called uh, you know the best towing company in the area which is great but they weren't really too willing to help us uh, they were a little reluctant to get us <laughs> home because um, it was the weekend and understandably but it we, we would have just been better off to call CAA right away um, but we didn't and this is what this is our situation right now and we're doing the best we can at the moment and hopefully we're sleeping in bed tonight back home so this triple a driver said it's no problem at all for us and the dogs to get a ride and i just started crying because it's been a really stressful few days and I just want to go back to a home where our family is. Let's go hug you.
so we made it back to Canada. Uh, I am currently just cleaning out the van. Getting pretty empty in there. A huge benefit to having a modular van conversion kit is that it can just come right out of the van and fit in the back of your trunk or in your closet. Honestly, I think that it would be a lot more stressful if I had built out the van myself and this had happened. Uh, I don't know how I would be feeling right now, but right now I'm pretty grateful that if I want to, I can just get another Grand Caravan, throw it back in, and we're camping again. We haven't really thought too much about what we're going to do next. Our fall trip through New England was amazing. Fall was beautiful. The highlight of our trip, definitely Acadia National Park. Portland was nice, Boston was nice, the cities were nice. Salem was fun because it was it's Halloween season, so it was very spooky. All in all, it was a great trip. Now I know that if something like that were to happen again, or if, if you were ever in that situation, and you have CAA, which I would recommend <laughs> because it was a lifesaver, uh, I would have just called them right away and got it taken care of. Uh, so we learned a valuable lesson and thankfully my lady is as safe. As always, thank you for watching. Goodbye, Ben! Goodbye, you.